Google has opened API access to their Gemini Pro model and you can use it for testing for absolutely free. Gemini model comes in three different sizes, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro and Gemini Nano. Gemini Pro is the second best model from Google and you can use Gemini Pro model into your applications using API. Before we discuss how we can use Gemini Pro model in our projects, let's look at the pricing. So over here, you can see the pricing. So uh, now you can see it's free for everyone until you make 60 queries per minute. But if you are making more than 60 queries per minute, then you can go with the pay as you go package. But it's not available currently and it will be coming soon at uh, Google AI Studio. Uh, for currently, you can uh, use it for free until you are making 60 queries per minute and price for the input is free, price for the output is free. But there is a one catch. Uh, the Google will use your input, the text, at the input text as well as the output which is generated by the model to improve their product. And you can get your API key in Google AI Studio. So if you just simply click over here, now this will Google Maker Suite will be open and you can get your API key from here. So uh, you can just click on this option like you are cons I'm consenting that uh, you will. So now I'm just you can create your account if you haven't created your account. Uh, you can just con sign up with your Google account and uh, and you can just be, uh, get click on get API key. And if you just create API key in your project from here so this might take few seconds and you can see this is your api key you can simply copy this so let me uh, show you how you we can run gemini pro model in the google colab so let's test the gemini pro model in google colab so here is the google colab notebook that i have prepared for this tutorial you can simply click over here secrets tab and you can add the new secret key. So you can simply add the API key in the value tab over here that you have uh, copied when you are just creating a new API key. Okay, over here. So I will just paste that API key over here. In the value tab, now I will just add the API key. So now you can see I have added my API key. And over here, I will just write the name. So whatever name you write over here in the name tab, please remember that name because this will be your environment variable name. So I will just write the name Gemini Pro Key. Okay. And you can simply provide it notebook access and you can simply hide this API key from here by clicking on this tab. And if you want to just delete this, you can delete this as well. And I will simply provide it notebook access like I will be able to use this inside this Google Colab notebook. So now I will just install all the required libraries. So first of all, I will install the Google Generative AI package. I have already run this script uh, previously as well. So this so that it can uh, simply run the cells fastly. Now I will just import all the required libraries that we will be using in this tutorial. So I'm just importing Generative AI from Google.GenerativeAI. Then uh, use to, uh, if you want to securely store your API key and I use in this Google Colab notebook. We will require import data. You we will require user data library. And simply, if uh, if you want to just uh, display the generated text from the uh, uh, model in the form of Markdown, so we can import the Markdown library and display library. So that uh, basically, import Markdown and display library are are uh, used to display the text that is generated from our Gemini Pro model in a proper format. So now here you can set up our API key. Uh, okay. So I have already told you how you can get your API key, but here I have added the link as well. So this will redirect you to the API key cat tab and you can simply uh, get your API key from here. So I have already told you how you can get your API key. And as you know that in the secrets tab, I have just written uh, the name of uh, the API. Here I've just added my uh, API key and here I've just written the name Gemini Pro key. So this will be the name. Uh, or this is the environment name of the variable. So I will just add the same name name over here, Gemini Pro Key, and user data dot get. 
okay so this will be our google api key and just i'm just setting the environment over here so you can simply run this cell okay so now it has run so now we are ready to call the Gemini api so first let's see what different uh, models are available under the Gemini api so currently as i told you at the start that Gemini what pro model is available while Gemini ultra model it will be available in early 2024 so if you just run this cell so this will show you the different models that are available under the Gemini api so currently Gemini pro model is available at Gemini Pro Vision model is available we will be using both of this model in this Google Golab notebook so in the first we will see how we can generate text in the output from the text input so the user will pass some text in the input and in the output we will have some text generated by the model okay so for text only prompt you can use the generative pro model so if we have our input in, in all, if the, our input is only in the form of text then we can use Gemini Pro model but if our input is in the form of text as well as as in the form of image as well or you can say that if we are using image and text both in our input then we can use Gemini Pro vision model but if we are using only text in our input then we can use simply Gemini Pro model but if we have in image and text both in the input then we can use Gemini Pro vision model so I only have text in the input so I will use Gemini Pro model and here I am just uh, using the generate contact method and I am just passing the input what is the meaning of like as an input to my uh, Gemini, Gemini Pro model. So this might take few seconds more to generate the response. Okay so now you can see that it takes around the following the time that it has taken to generate that response so it's around 10 seconds so let's see what the response uh, our model has generated the meaning of life is a multi-faceted and deeply personal question that has been pondered by philosophers and individuals throughout history well while there is no single university universally agreed upon answer several prominent themes and perspective emerge you now you can see the answer is generated by the model but it's not in the proper format like we need to bring in the proper format we need to add markdowns as well so i've just created a function two dot markdown so that we can add markdown so if i just run this cell now so now you can see that our answer is in the form of proper markdown so this is the answer and we have just formatted this answer into this uh, using this function and now it's in the proper markdown form so the meaning of life is deeply personal question that has been pondered by philosophers and vision throughout history while there is no single university agreed on answer several prominent themes and perspective emerge while considering this question while purpose and fulfillment happiness and will be so these are the on the mark uh, headings which are presented in the form of markdowns so in some cases uh, the api will fail to return the uh, result so you can just use this from that feedback method to see why the API has failed to return any result or if you will see if it has blocked your answer result due to safety concerns so or if it has blocked your prompt due to safety concerns so you can simply write respond.prompt-feedback currently you can see we are able to generate the response but if any case API failed to research the result you can simply write prompt feedback to see why the API, API failed to uh, uh, fail to answer or fail to return the result so there are several reasons like if you have uh, passed an input which is in the form of hate speech or harassment or dangerous content then it will not return a response okay so Gemini can return a multiple responses for a single prompt like you can see over here we have passed a single prompt what is the meaning of life and we have only one round response which is over here but Gemini model can also return multiple responses for a single prompt and you can review those responses by writing response.candidate it will show you all the responses that are generated by the Gemini model so now you can see here we have all the responses that are generated by the Gemini model in response to our prompt so now usually we see that uh, when we pass the input prompt and we have the answer but if by default the model returns a response after completing the entire generation process 
you can also stream the response that is being generated so we can make the uh, we can stream the response as well like it will be generated step by step like we can stream the response process like we shouldn't wait for the response to be completely generated and we can streamline all this process and you can use this by setting stream is equal to true okay so you can also stream the response as it is being generated and the model will return the chunks of the response as soon as they are generated okay so let's wait for this cell so now you can see here we have the response and we are just passing the same input prompt the meaning of life is personal subjective question that has been encountered by philosophers, religious leaders and thinkers throughout history and here we have the response so now we have seen that how we can pass that in text as input and we can uh, our models will uh, generate output in the form of text as well now we will uh, in our input prompt we will pass text as well as the image as our input so in our input prompt we will passing the image as well as the text as the input okay so first of all we will only pass the image as our input and our our model will generate a response in the form of text okay so here we have the input image so you can if you just click on this link uh you can see that this is our input image which we are using so we are just assigning the this image uh just the name image.jpg and you can see if you just run this cell you will see the image will appear over here it will be downloaded in the google colab notebook and you can simply display that image in your Google Colab notebook as well using the display library which we have imported at the start now you can see this is the image so if I just pass this image to the Gem uh, Gemini provision model so if we have uh, input in the form of image or if we have input in the form of image and text then we will be using Gemini provision model so I will just pass this image as an input to the Gemini provision model so let's see what response we get from here so this might take few more seconds before we get the response. So look like you can see that chicken meal preparation bowls with brown rice and roasted broccoli and bell pepper. So uh, it has given a response from here. So now we will provide both text and image in the prompt. So in our input, we will be providing the image as well as the text in the as the input. So I will just write the text, write a short engaging blog post based on this picture, like this picture. It should include a description of the meal in the photo and talk about my journey meal prepping and here we have the image this is the text as input and here this image is being passed as the input over here as well and we have stretched stream is equal to true so let's run this cell now so now it will generate the response over here and let's see what response do we get over here so here we have the response meal preparing can be a great way to save time and money and it can help you to eat healthier so here you can see we have the complete response so with Gemini model we can represent text into the form of vectors as well so with embedding model we can convert our text into vectors so vectors are basically floating point numbers so embedding is a technique used to represent information as a list of floating point numbers with Gemini you can uh, represent text word sentences blocks of te text into vectors so now you can see that uh, we can use embed dash, con dash content method to generate embedding so the method handling handles embeddings for the following tasks so you can see the task details over here and the description is provided over here as well so i will just use embed dash content method and here in the content i will just pass a text uh, so i just want to convert this text into vectors using Gemini so here you can see we are using this embedding model provided by Gemini and we want to just convert this text into vectors or floating point number and we have a task type as retrieval document and you can see the details over here so if I just run this text this will convert the text into vectors so now if we just pass uh, so now you can see here we have passed only a single line of text but if we have want to pass the uh, text or batches of uh, text in the form of batches of strings okay so we can just pass it over here like you can see we have different multiple sentences over here what is the meaning of life how much wood would uh wood chuck chuck 
how does the brain work so we want to pass all these text to our embedding model and we want to generate uh, we want to convert this text into floating point numbers or we just uh, using embedding we want to convert this text into vectors okay so I will just run this text cell now so now you can see that uh, using embedding model provided by Germany we are able to convert this text into vectors or floating point number and you can see the response over here so in this tutorial, I have provided a quick overview of how, of how you can use Gemini Pro model. And I hope you have learned something in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.